everybody. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your great comments and suggestions on my last post about Paige getting up too early in the morning at like 5.30, 5.15, sometimes 5 o'clock. Um, you know, we took some of your suggestions and we looked out on the internet for some more information. Um, you know, we do have Paige sleep with light block shades and we do have her sleep with a sound machine on with white noise pretty much turned up all the way um, and she does have great naps during the day about two to three hours each day and she pretty much sleeps through the night so that's good so I think we've come to the conclusion that she probably has too much time between the end of her nap till bedtime I think it's like five hours or so or six hours and so they said online you know some of the sleep experts were saying try not to let more than four hours go by between the last nap and bedtime so that being said I need to try to push the beginning of her nap later she goes down now at 11 30 um, she's usually really tired by then so I need to try to push it over the next little while to as close to 12 30 or 1 as I can get it we'll see if I can be successful in that you know how you know little control you really have um, but yeah, I think that'll be the solution over time, is if I can get her to bed later for her nap, she'll sleep a little later into the afternoon and close the gap between the nap and bedtime. And hopefully that'll help her sleep a little longer to 6, 6.30. Um, that's the hope anyway. We'll see if it works. Um, but I wanted to thank you for all your tips and stories. Um, it's really nice to know that I'm not alone. And um, thanks again for all your help. And I'll keep you posted on how it all goes. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks and bye.